As part of the Campus Management and Development Group of St. Bernadette College of Alabang, one of our group's objectives is to help the school with its cost reduction projects. And as an electrical engineer, my main focus is to contribute in lowering our energy consumption, which will translate to lower electricity bill, which as we all know in any business or company, is one of the major contributors in its operating cost. With this in mind, our group decided going into solar energy as our alternative power source. Because aside from our objective, which is to lower our electricity bill, is also to support in preserving our environment through renewable energy projects. We started small by replacing the lighting system of our school's front logo and building school name signage to solar-powered floodlights. We installed six units of 150-watt floodlights for the school signage in front of our college building and two units 100 watts floodlights for the school logo along East Service Road. Operating only during the night time of about 8 hours a day, these floodlights saves around 200 kilowatt hours per month, which translates to about 1,500 pesos savings. Although small, at least we were able to help not just the school, but also the environment. We also installed 5 units of 50 watts solar street lights to illuminate the school community's access bridge which would give our students and its residents safer pathway during the night. And instead of replacing our broken and aging portable gasoline generator with another gasoline generator, we purchased a 1,500 watts portable rechargeable solar generator, which we are using for our outdoor activities that needs power supply, such as school annual parade and during the Holy Week procession. Aside from being environment friendly, it is also very silent. And just recently, one of our group's proposals was already approved, which is the installation of a 4.2 kilowatt capacity solar energy system. Theoretically, this will give power for the air conditioning units of the executive office, admin office, and human resource office. With that, let me take you on a tour from the moment we started the installation project to finally testing and powering up the solar energy system.
the 14 270 watts Canadian solar polycrystalline panels were installed on the roof of the executive office. The inverters were provided by Sever Solar. These smart inverters comes with its own smartphone application which you can actually monitor the system's power production. Another very good feature of this application, which I personally do like, is that you can actually see the saved estimated carbon dioxide emission and the equivalent trees the system is actually saving. Again, theoretically, if the sun is fully shining on us and considering our school's operation, we can save 27 kilowatt hours per day or around 750 kilowatt hours per month, which would translate to about 6,000 peso savings per month. And after around four years, we will be able to recoup the total cost of installation of the solar energy system. And from there, mostly of the energy requirement of the air conditioning system will actually be free. Considering again that the sun is fully shining on us. So if you're actually considering helping preserve our environment and at the same time save money, going solar is definitely the way to go. And here at St. Bernadette College of Alabang, we promote and support our government in its journey to renewable energy. Once again, I am Luis de Guzman. Thank you for watching. And just a friendly reminder, always stay safe and God bless.